another day, another incident between cops and black person that for some reason everybody's supposed to care about because in a world where black people are being hunted all the time, it's important to realize that information is only key if it benefits only one side. I'm certain you might have heard about a man known by Dexter Reed who is no longer on this earth anymore. And I'm certain you might have seen the family members, I believe the mother and the sister specifically, have been weeping and crying and trying to get everybody to get justice against these officers. I'm just bought his new car three days before that and he was just riding around in his car he said mom go for a ride and they killed him Thank you. I'm certain you've seen all these people saying these things about how these officers were wearing plain clothes and they were just seemingly out there seeking to hunt somebody he got pulled over for not wearing a seat. Some people just be sounding stupid as fuck. A little bit of research would have helped you understand what the fuck is going on, but let me help you out. For those of you who don't know, Dexter Reed is a 26 year old black man who was shot and killed by police officers after they stopped him for a seatbelt violation. If you look at the police body cam footage, you can see how dark his car tints are. I also want the record to show that his window was up before the officers even approached the car. How do you know he wasn't wearing his seatbelt if you can't see through the fucking windows? His tents were illegal! His tents were illegal! The officers didn't pull him over for that reason though. Hmm? And that's the whole point of the investigation. How do you claim he has a seatbelt violation if you can't see through the fucking car at all? I would also like to mention that there's an investigation with those same officers trying to pull that violation stunt on other people. Might I add that these officers was wearing plain clothes and then draw their gun at the motherfucking car. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that he didn't shoot first. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. The cops be fucking lying sometimes. But if there's proof that these officers did an unlawful traffic stop, then they're in fault of the fucking situation. And he's not going to reply to this because all of this is fact. She's just going to stare at all at this video. Dexter Reed was pulled over for what's being reported as a seatbelt violation in a residential area of Chicago. He was pulled over by unmarked vehicles with four plainclothes police officers who had their guns drawn on him when they arrived at his vehicle. The officers fired 96 rounds in 41 seconds. According to the reports the officers gave, they arrived in an unmarked car and stopped Reed for not wearing a seatbelt. But things devolved quickly as he appeared to refuse the officer's commands and didn't immediately leave the SUV. Dexter Reed had a firearm, and according to their report, when the four plainclothes police officers walked up to his car yelling and demanding him to get out with their guns drawn, Reed shot first, and I don't know anyone that would blame him. Here's a still from the body cam footage. Here is one officer directly in front of me with a firearm. There's another one at the door wearing a winter jacket and a baseball hat with one hand on his door and another pointing a gun at him. And there's another one on the passenger side window. If anyone is in Dexter Reed's position here, you likely think these people are trying to steal your car at gunpoint because again, they're in plain clothes. None of them are wearing uniforms. The four officers fired 96 shots in 41 seconds, including and after Reed exited the vehicle, fell to the ground and laid motionless. One of the four officers fired 50 shots. Now these plainclothes officers in unmarked cars are part of some sort of tactical or expert or elite unit, whatever they wanna call it. But experts are asking, why these officers of this particular unit in plain clothes would bother to stop someone for a seatbelt violation. And additionally, if the windows of Reed's vehicle were tinted, it would have been incredibly difficult for them to see whether or not he had his seatbelt on. I'll admit that I'm not an expert in police process, but what seems odd to me is that if this was a seatbelt violation, that four plainclothes officers all swarmed his vehicle with their guns drawn. And in a very predictable turn of events, these officers are on a 30-day administrative leave during investigations. State's attorney Kim Fox said her office was investigating the possibility of criminal charges. And I must say, I hope all of them face criminal charges and end up in prison where people who murder people belong.
Okay, y'all, so this happened a day ago in Chicago. Dexter Reed uh, was fired at and fatally killed by Chicago police officers for a traffic stop. Now, they're saying that 96 shots were fired at him in 41 seconds. 96 shots, okay, were fired at him. And I don't know how many hit him, but he's no longer with us. And this was 96 shots fired by police in 41 minutes. So let me tell you a little bit of background about this story. Okay, so supposedly Dexter was pulled over because of a seatbelt violation. Okay. But when he let his window down, okay, now this is, okay, now pay attention to this part. Because they're saying that his windows were very tinted. And when he let his windows down or whatever. So how, how did they know that he had a seatbelt violation if his windows were so tinted and they were up? Because they had to be up if he let them down. Okay, so there's that inconsistency. The other thing was, they're saying that they asked him to, they were asking him questions or whatever the case was, and he, I don't know, got irritated or something, which anybody would, and was gonna was winding his window back up, and they were telling him, giving him commands not to do that and to wind the window back down and you know do it now, do it now, blah blah blah. And the next thing you know, they're saying that he had a weapon and shot at them first, and that's why they unloaded on him in 41 seconds now of course they're going to do an investigation but it's just things aren't adding up they don't make sense the family said that he didn't even have a gun he didn't own a gun he didn't have one where would where he would he gotten a gun from so there's that and uh, naturally the family feels like look 96 times 96 shots in 41 seconds is to me that's overkill literally but they're trying to say that it's justifiable because you know if you you know what do you expect if you fire at fire a shot a gunshot at a, at a police officer you know of course they're gonna all but nobody found nobody found a weapon nobody found a gun so there's that now here's the thing how many times do we have to go through this shit how many times have police officers lied how many times have police officers planted evidence a gun drugs how many times how many times have police officers lied to justify what they've done? How many now? How many? Because as far as I'm concerned, one time is too many. How many times have police heard an acorn hit the top of somebody's car and start firing because they thought it was a gun shot? Okay. How many times? How many times has a police officer gotten pissed off because a black person didn't follow his commands? How many times? How many times did a police officer mistake a cell phone, a hairbrush, a bag of Skittles, a bottle of tea for a weapon? How many times? So, yeah, that's where we're at. And now this family um, is missing a loved one. And how many times is it going to be justified each time? Each, each time a, a black person is killed, it's always justified. How many times do we have to go through this? How many? And that is the question. How many times? How many times? You see in all of that, you see in all the drastic hot takes, and I'm certain, like in many other examples, you've been out there seeing people demand for the body cam footage. Well, the body cam footage is readily available for anybody to see, and the one glaring issue with a lot of the people saying this is not right is that they're ignoring the body cam footage, which clearly shows this dude open fire on these cops, which would then lead to them shooting back at him, albeit, a little bit too much because 96 shots, I would argue, is a little bit too much. At what point does the word stop come into this equation? Open the doors Open now. The fucking door. Unlock the doors yeah, now. Hey, hey, watch. Unlock the, the doors now. Open the door now. Open the door now. Open the door now. Open the door now.
You ready? You hit? Are you hit? I know they got all these examples of people getting shot and then they spring back up and they get into action, but come on now. You hear 96 shots and you don't think, all right, damn, could have stopped at 10, could have stopped at maybe 11. Did it really need 96 shots to take out one person? I don't really think so, but that's just my opinion. When I see people get so enthralled in all these different examples of what they would call police brutality, and they demand all this activism, they demand support, and they demand justice, and then they get the things that will lead to a conclusion, they seemingly don't want to acknowledge it or ignore it or still sit here and say there's an injustice somewhere and I would argue these cops are still going to face some type of a punishment for the 96 shots but I don't really think it's going to be that drastic or in ways that would be defined as drastic to anybody who wants to see them behind bars for the rest of their life because you look at that body cam footage you see them clearly having to respond with violence because violence is being brought upon them I even think one of the officers got shot in the wrist or somewhere on their body which would lead more credence to them having to respond back with gunfire. Ultimately, it's sad. I hate the fact that a family has to deal with knowing that one of their family members is no longer on this earth, but I'm not going to sit here and ignore that this dude probably was going to get a fine, probably have to go and deal with this in court, whether it be a ticket or a violation or actually spending some time in jail over a traffic violation. But instead of doing that, he decided to pick up his gun and have fun with it. And unfortunately, he's no longer on this earth because of his own fucking choices. So Dexter Reed decided he wanted to shoot at the police and then y'all want to get upset because they turned him into Swiss cheese. Like, what, what, when, when will we, as a people, right? Not me, because I would. If you're a criminal, I don't give a fuck what the police do to you. I actually, if you're a criminal, I actually beg the police to rid you from the community. Dexter Reed was a criminal, right? He shot at the police. They turned him into Swiss cheese. That's called consequences and repercussions. And some reason. Y'all think people that would shoot at the police deserve any sorts of rights. This can't be real. Like, this is the problem with the society right now. The lack of fathers in the community is rearing its head. And I pray y'all don't decide to have another one of those summers where you're riding and doing all this stuff because I actually will pray that the police swiftly probably not because it's Chicago and it's a democratic city I pray the police swiftly take y'all asses to jail you can go around making this about cops hunting a group of people. You can even argue the 96 shots is excessive, but at the end of the day, you will have to start the conversation with, he should not have opened fire on these fucking police officers because that was the problem and that is the reason he's six feet deep. But let me know, what do you think about this? Do you think the 96 shots was excessive? Do you think this dude should have just followed direct orders? What do you think about these officers wearing plain clothes even though I can't see anything else they're wearing? All I can see is these big ass overcoats let me know what you think in the comments down below subscribe to the channel i will see you all in the next one goodbye